Hi guys, we are getting ready to go to Europe. I am preparing myself. I feel like I have a lot to do. We leave a week from today. So today I'm getting my hair done. I have a hat on because it's been raining. My roots are really grown out. So I'm getting some highlights done. This is what it looks like. My hair is like really frizzy right now because it's been raining. There's supposed to be like really bad weather tonight. I met my mom to get some like afternoon tea and we went antiquing. My mom got me this like early birthday present back there. It's like this little bust statue that I'm going to put in my house. It's so cute and it's making me even more excited to go to Europe. But anyways, I'll show you all later. So I'm about to go in. I'm actually kind of early, but I'm just going to go in anyways so I can hopefully just get this over with. <laughs> I'm back and this is my hair. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks a lot more blonde. I feel like you can never tell when I do transitions. It's basically my roots that I got touched up. I also got a slight trim and you probably can't even tell the difference. It was literally such a small trim, but I always feel it's so drastic because my hair is so long, so I'm like so attached to it. She did a really good job. I've been going to this girl since I was like a freshman in college. She does a really good job. I feel like she knows my hair texture and just like what works with it. My hairdresser and I, we both travel a lot with our husbands. She likes to travel too. And we were just both talking about our upcoming travel plans. I'm excited for her. She's excited for me. It was just really fun to talk about it. This is craziness. It looks like there's like a person laying right there. <laughs> It's not though. So here's the statue. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it here or not, but we just got it loaded in the house and this is where we put it for now. I love it. Today I'm going to start packing, I think, and I'm really excited because we officially leave in one week for Europe, so I really need to start packing. We're gonna be traveling for a few weeks in Europe, so I need to have some clothes that I can just like kind of rewear that look cute and I can kind of like layer and maybe look different in pictures and just like different areas, if that makes sense. This is the toiletry bag that I use. It's by Betsy Johnson and I love it. it. Has different compartments so you can really organize it. It just makes you more organized. I can even fit my curling or straightening iron in here or both. It doesn't look that big, but it apparently is. Okay, so I know it looks really full, but it will zip. So I basically just have like my hairbrush, my facial cleansers, hair bands, deodorant, facial pads, everything that I use every day. It's organized the way that I know. Then I will probably add in like last minute stuff also. Hi. Then I will pack in this bag the emergency medications, like, you know, cold and flu medicine, tummy issue medicines, just like stuff like that, because that's always good to have on hand. I also can never forget my retainers because I cannot sleep without these. This is usually my travel makeup bag, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna put my go-to makeup products in the smaller bag because it's quite a bit smaller. It won't take up as much space in my suitcase. So I'm gonna do that. That's it and it all fits. It's so much smaller than this bag, I feel like. It has like all my go-to products. That other bag just had like some random stuff that I would like sometimes use. I feel like for this longer trip, I just need to have my go-tos. It'll be more convenient for packing. The other bag, it has compartments in it, which is nice, but just for this trip, I'm using this bag. Okay, so in case y'all are wondering, this is the suitcase I'm bringing. It's actually really cute. It has mickey mouse all over it brandon researched the size of suitcase that we will be able to bring on like all of the trains subways planes that we're taking to the different countries apparently this is the size that we can take we got this suitcase i honestly really want to take it to disney world but we're not going to disney world we don't have a trip planned but i really want to plan a trip now it's a decent size but i have to say i usually use a bigger suitcase so i've been feeling a little bit stressed we're gonna make it work so i'm gonna open it up okay. Yeah, I think it will be manageable. And then I'm gonna bring like a carry-on also. One thing that I'm packing, I feel like is important for kind of a romantic vacation is lingerie, especially for married. I don't wanna like make you uncomfortable or anything, but I'm packing my lingerie. I want to make sure that I remember that. I feel like some girls are like, I never use lingerie. Well, you should do that because it makes the man happy and it also makes you feel good about yourself. It makes you feel good, like makes you feel sexy. Even if you're not going on vacation, like this is your reminder to get dressed up in lingerie every now and then. I don't do it all the time, but sometimes it's fun. You know, it's not only fun for your man, but it's fun for yourself too. I'm just saying. I'm also gonna pack a light robe because I don't know if our hotel will have any robes and 
I think it'd be nice to have a robe to get ready in. I'm also packing these little vintage socks. And if you stretch them, they have lace. You can get these on Amazon. I'm also packing these gloves because it's fun to wear these if you wear like a tank top or like a, a dress. It just makes you look so elegant and I would love to wear these in Paris or London. Like I think we're gonna go get afternoon tea somewhere in London. I would love to wear these somewhere getting tea with a, a nice little hat. I'm also packing some white stockings and some black stockings because even though it's spring, it still will be a little chilly most likely. And also it just sometimes accentuates the outfit, makes it look really cute. So if we do get afternoon tea, this is the hat I'm thinking I'll wear. And then I was also gonna bring this purse. It's really old. My aunt got it for me and it's an antique. I think she says from like the 1950s or something. So detailed and gorgeous. I know some people will probably roll their eyes at this, but I am packing some berets because I just love berets. I've just always loved them. I just love the way they look on my head and I feel like it's just my fashion sense, but I already have two outfits planned that I'm going to wear with these berets. I'm currently in my closet just like looking at everything. I get so overwhelmed once I start packing and then I feel like I start overpacking. It's just so overwhelming. I swear like my heart's literally pounding right now. If I had my Apple watch on, I feel like my heart rate would be so high. But I'm, I'm gonna pack this hat too because I have an outfit planned to wear with this hat. I think this will be good. I'm gonna wear this in Venice because I feel like it's really cute to wear hats like this in Venice. The city of love. Oh my goodness. I went to my closet for like one minute and look what I came back to. Wilbur! I swear, he just knows. As soon as I open my suitcase, he just knows something's up. He just gets inside and he looks so sad. Like, look at him. I feel like he, when he's in my suitcase, it looks so small. But he looks so sad. Hi guys, it's a brand new day. I'm in my pajamas still, so ignore that. I have been packing a little bit more. I'm gonna show you some of my outfits that I am going to pack. I've been feeling a little bit <laughs> overwhelmed just because I tend to overpack. So this is how I do it. I like to pack my bag and then when it gets a little bit closer, I will kind of like unpack it and then pack it again just so I can like see everything I've packed. But the reason why I do this is so I can just throw everything in my suitcase, get everything out and see <laughs> if I need to just like grab anything out that I don't need and then also so I can like fold everything and make it more organized so hopefully that makes sense to some people it probably sounds not very smart but to me it makes a lot of sense six miles on Friday morning Stars I just tried everything on and I love everything. I just finished packing my suitcase and it's such a relief. Now I just have to pack my carry-on bag. I feel like that'll be so easy now. And it honestly doesn't feel that heavy either, so. Hi guys, I just vacuumed and cleaned our house because my mom was coming over. Brandon has Bible study tomorrow. I also had the goal to clean our house before we go out of town. So it was the perfect time to clean and it honestly feels so amazing to have our house clean now. But it is a mess still in our bedroom because we're packing, but that's okay. But my mom was really sweet to come over and she dropped off some items that will help me pack a little bit more organized. So I'm going to continue packing. So my mom gave me these cubes and they have different sizes like this. And it's basically just to keep it organized. And she also gave me these colors as well. So that was really sweet of her to bring these by. Okay, so here's what I ended up doing with the little cubes. This one has my underwear and my socks in it. This one has my hair accessories in it. It has like hair scarves, scrunchies, everything like that. This one has my bras in it. I'm going to put all of my jewelry in this bag that my mom let me borrow. And I think it has a lot of space and it's just so organized. So let's begin. All right, now I'm going to get my hair cut. I have a hat on because it's it's really bad. I let it overgrow. Couldn't get into my barber sooner because I just thought I could just do one haircut before I left, but definitely should have done two, but it should look a lot better here soon. So, 
that's about the length it's at and we're gonna go and hopefully there's a good transformation of it because I do not like it right now. I just got back and I think I really like it. I kind of went with a classic look. I normally do try keeping a little more length because I spent so long growing it. But yeah, ready for Europe. Hi guys. We leave in two days. Oh my goodness. I tend to stress a lot about my life, my purpose, and I've been stressing about packing, making sure I have everything, getting everything done before we leave, stuff like that, you know? It's like late at night is when I like start to really think. I'm a night owl and I feel like staying up late is really bad for your mental health, but since I'm naturally like a night owl, I feel like I can't help it. But that's when I like really just like start to stress and get really bad negative thinking going on. So last night I was up really late and I started to stress and just get really anxious and it made me stay up even later because I just felt stressed, you know. Um, so look at my eye right now. I don't know if you can see it. I know, it's, it's not like that bad. It's worse in person, I feel like. But it's basically like my blood vessels or my veins. I don't really know. It's because I was stressed and up late. I was up too late. And so now my eye is like so red, you see? It's so weird, but anyways, I have felt so exhausted today and I don't know, but it's all good, it's all good. I'm basically done with my packing. I just have to finish my carry-on. Just do like the minor things the day of, basically. I am about to go get my nails done. It's like 3.45 right now. I was planning to do this earlier, but I was just like really tired. So I've just been doing stuff around the house today. I always enjoy having my nails done, but I, I don't always enjoy getting my nails done. But I'm planning to get the gel nails this time because I have been growing my nails out. They don't look the best right now because I don't have them filed or anything because I want them to do it professionally. But I've been growing my nails out so that I can just get gel nails so that my nails are overall more healthy. Because I feel like when I get the dip nails, they always break off and my nails are just like ruined. But I actually have really healthy nails and hair and stuff. So I'm gonna get gel nails this time and see what happens. It's supposed to last like two to three weeks. Hi guys, I just got out of the nail salon and this is what they look like. Sorry, my hands look really oily. It looked brighter on the sample. It's like a lot lighter, but oh well, at least they look more put together than what they were. And also my nails were a lot longer before and then of course she filed them down. I told her, I was like, yeah, I've been growing my nails out so I can get gel nails and I don't have to really get dip nails anymore. And then she filed them down. So this is what they look like. They're not bad. They're just more neutral pink instead of a hot pink, but it's not bad. Even though it's going to be spring, I found out it might be cold. The high will be like 50 or 60 while we're in Europe. And then it might rain while we're there. So I decided to order this coat online. It arrived today, literally the day before we leave. It's actually like really warm and soft, even though I last minute ordered it. So I'm really excited that I decided to order this. I got these hat tags to connect my hat and it'll be really helpful because usually in the past I would just walk with a bunch of hats on. The sad thing about going to Europe is that we can't take our dogs. I'm going to be a little bit sad, but they're gonna be in really good hands with my mom and my dad. I packed their bag. It's basically emergency medications, their toys, their leashes, and stuff like that. I'm gonna also pack their dog bed. Yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in there. This is their bag and they know what it is, so I'm trying not to open it up or anything like that. I'm officially packed and so is Brandon and we're leaving right now. Yay, we're leaving. And here is all of our stuff in the car. It looks like a lot, but it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be for like two and a half to three weeks in Europe. Yeah, 